Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to reset your ZTE Blade Z Max back to factory settings. To do this, we're going to go to our settings app. We're going to go to accounts. Click on Google. Go to the upper right corner, click on three dots and go to remove account. Hit remove. Okay, sometimes you'll get this message right here. It says remove account, remove this account, blah, blah, remove. This change isn't allowed by your administrator. So I wanna walk you through how to fix that. So we're gonna go right to our reset here. Go to backup and reset. Factory data reset. And then reset phone. Put in our code there all right erase everything okay so what you're gonna have to do now is allow the phone to totally reset itself so you're gonna have to wait anywhere from 30 seconds to about five minutes but after we do the reset we're gonna have to set up the phone partially in order to remove the Google account I don't know why it's doing this. It's a new thing I've been seeing a lot. I think it's an extra precautionary thing Google is doing to protect people's phones in the event that they're stolen. So um, if you're, if this obviously is your phone and you haven't stolen it, um, but you wanna sell it or give it away or even return it to the store you purchased it at, you will wanna take off your Google account. If not, it will lock the phone and will prevent future owners from being able to sign into their Google account. In fact, you can't even sign into the phone until you sign in with the previous Google account that was logged into the phone. So that's why this is so important. All right, guys, so we're back at this screen. So this is the screen that will tell you that the factory reset has been successful. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish removing the Google account. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So let's go. We're gonna hit set up as a new device. We're gonna to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So let's connect to all right. So we just signed into our uh, Wi-Fi network here. It's gonna check some info, and then as soon as it gets to the page, oh, here it is. So now it's asking us to sign into our Google account, specifically the Google account that you had on the phone prior to the recess. Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I just put in the uh, Google account and the password of the last account that I had on the phone. So I'm just gonna skip everything, skip anyway. We're just gonna get right down to the setup here. Thanks, all set. It should get us right to, here we go, our main screen. So now we can go right to the settings. Go back to accounts. Google, upper right corner, three dots, remove account, remove account. There we go. It's a little frustrating that you have to basically set the phone up again to remove the account, but it's just what you have to do to make sure your account is completely wiped off of the phone. At this point, you can leave it the way it is and give it to the next person and allow them to set it up from the home screen, or you could go ahead and initiate the factory reset one more time, which it would happen a lot faster because everything has already been erased. Back up and reset, factory reset. Reset phone, erase everything, and you're done. All right, so this has been how to reset your ZTE Blade Z Max back to factory settings, and also how to remove your Google account so you do not lock the phone and prevent the next owner from being able to use the phone. I hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button as well, and make sure you also follow us on Instagram at H2 Tech Videos for monthly giveaways and a bunch of other really cool stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care and have a good one.